Hello traders, Gary Wagner here just before 10 o'clock in Honolulu, 4 o'clock in New York on Monday, the 14th day of April 2014 and this is uh, the daily report for gold and silver. We have precious metals higher across the board with gold actually in third place. Platinum and palladium are showing higher pricing in terms of percentage gain, silver the least amount first to gold. 1326.33 screen print the low 1318.30 the high 1332.10 that 32.10 is something that we will talk about in a second puts it up roughly eight dollars on the day a nice gain of uh, over a half a percent silver is trading higher today 1998 but it is below twenty dollars only up about two cents low on the day 1965 the honey the high 2019 more on silver towards the end of the show traders i want to start today's show uh, by talking about an email that we sent out this morning a special trade alert in which we suggested raising stops up and I'll uh, show you the actual chart we sent out and give you the rationale behind where we put the stop but when we look at uh, the market as it stands right now as I said it's, it's up considerably we take a look at the fact that we had this brilliant $200 move we had over a 50% retracement but not quite a 61% retracement and now there's no doubt we're headed back up now the question is where will we go and typically, as I said, on a B wave, you're going to go anywhere between 50 and 75% that of the move of A, this being A, this being C, and we'll see, but we should get one final C. Now, the market's obviously being uh, driven right now in part by the geopolitical uncertainty going on over in the Ukraine, and that has put a lot of upside momentum and really given uh, pressure to any kind of uh, bearish sentiment in the the gold market simply put it it has returned as a safe haven investment so today when i sent out that special trade notification i recommended that you trail your stop up to just below 1310 and let me show you what i mean by that initially we had our stop not at this low but i, I placed it in this area below uh 1285 and the reason for that is we wanted to get kind of below these lows in here depending on where you put that now as the marketplace has moved up what we are recommending is if you take a look at uh this is friday thursday or excuse me monday uh friday and then thursday we typically want to put it at least behind uh, a three-day low and so what we did is we simply looked at the low of this particular candle let me go ahead and change my tool back to an arrow but of this particular candle here three days and said to place it below and what we've done is by going in at roughly uh, 1308 stops right now roughly right in there at least we are protecting our equity we do have profits in the trade but we're simply we're not out of the trade yet we're simply trailing our stop up now where do we think that this marketplace could go the first thing we want to do is see if it continues to rise of course it's got to break through this particular point here 1333 when you take a look at the top of this market you can see that it's come very very close what did i say the high was about 32 and change now when we look at it also and just let's put a straight line across this we see some activity in terms of there being some sort of support in this area because if you recall market moves up and then kind of move sideways for a little while and this when we move sideways what we then do is then take a look at these lows that happened during that sideways activity because that's really showing us support we had alternating candle color so you had the bulls and the bears kind of fighting for uh domination in the market with the bulls being successful as they brought it to a uh new high a six month high and so what we're looking at is the fact that now that the market has come down we want to see how it reacts in these areas now my sense is that my sense is that because it's so fuel driven by what's going on in ukraine and we also have a tremendous amount of economic data coming out that we could see some fairly wild gyrations in the market so we kind of want to hold on to our seats and see how this unfolds so as this market begins to unfold this week and as we 
continue to rise, I should say, if the real question is, where will this market uh, really stall? Will it stall anywhere between 1333 and 1363 as our model predicts or will it do something different realize the one big caveat about using these technical indicators is the market is absolutely fact and fundamentally driven the technical indicators are simply a way i believe to distill that information into usable information what i mean by that is when we have this geopolitical uncertainty we could easily see this market spike and go out of this particular uh, models parameters and then we would fit our model to meet the criteria as it changed and we would have different types of Elliott wave formations based upon that but for the time being really I feel comfortable under the belief that we'll probably see this market genuinely trade uh, 1340 1350 in that area we'll see but we've hit our first level of any kind of resistance but the week has just started so we'll have to see how it unfolds we are looking at our Andrews pitchfork chart and I'm kind of interested in to see how this is going to all pan out as you know we have the zero line and the zero line is critical because as this market sold off it has never ever except this most recent rally gone and moved back up to that zero prong there's no area really since what uh, the beginning of 2013 now interestingly enough when the market came down it came down and absolutely in my opinion found support right at this 23 percent channel and is now once again quickly approaching the zero line if in fact what we're going to get is a some sort of an um an a a b it might stall right there and then we get our final c taking us down here that would be a fairly logical way in terms of our model to see it unfold however then we'll go into our impulse because we will have completed this and that's when we really need to see ourselves or see gold i should say break above this zero line because really until it breaks above the zero line i cannot tell you with any kind of certainty in terms of technical evidence that we are in a full-blown bullish trend right now as opposed to a bull market which is a counter trend to the bear market and there's no doubt this has been a bear market 2013 was characterized as this big bear market we saw a 38 percent drop in the price of gold now the beginning of this year has really proved itself to be resilient because when we take a look at where this market went to these this is right 2014 starts right here that's the absolute bottom of the market we never have seen gold hit anywhere near these lows since that point and when we look at this we have one we'll get two and as i said two might be something like this then down and then we'll go into three and three by the nature of Elliott wave cannot be the shortest so we're looking for a pretty sizable move in the market we'll pull up another chart to give you an idea of what we're looking for and so to do that we're going to simply use a couple of uh, tools the primary tool that we'll be using today of course is just basic Fibonacci extensions and so what we've done is we've added a basic extension here we've got our move up and this is our benchmark wave one is going to be our benchmark now wave two as i said i still believe has a possibility of a a a b and then some sort of c so we're fixing our low down by the lows at 1267. now when we do that we want to look at various levels the first level is going to be the 100 percent level and that is simply saying that wave one and wave three are of equal size and if that's the case it takes us to roughly i believe 1480 and that would be a pretty sizable move now realize within that is going to be a sub count just as we get a five count here three count here we'll get another five counts so it's not going to be a straight line up and most importantly we still have to i believe complete this wave too however once we do that i believe that on a minimal basis you're looking at around 1460 to 1480 and as high as maybe 15 to 1530 and that would be your 23 percent extension off of wave one it could go as high as 161 according to the textbook however i am not that optimistic just as of yet there's been nothing to show me we'll see that kind of a move 
but I really believe we've got a pretty big move coming. We've got a, a nice little trade in here. We just want to have our timing right, trail our stops up. If in fact we have one last leg down, we'll be prepared for that. If the market just takes off, of course, we'll trail our stops up rather than looking for a price point. For those that are trying to maximize profits um, and are willing to give up some of that upside, meaning that if it continues to go, what you can begin to do is consider price orders in uh, at various levels of where we think this next wave is going, meaning between 33 and 63. So traders, you probably noticed that we raised our stops in gold and not in silver, and I want to give you the rationale behind that. We really haven't seen the market move at all. And when we consider the fact that even during this trade, it has come in and gone and tested this area on a couple of occasions, and the fact that we've got defined, real defined tops right in here, we're back, I think, into some sort of a channel right now. Silver just doesn't know which way it wants to trade. It doesn't have a defined clear-cut path. It's not acting as a safe haven metal because it's more of an, it has an industrial component. We've got this narrowly defined range, and my sense is, is that it's going to trade sideways for a little while, and we're going to get probably when we least expected some kind of spike in this market because that's what happened last time. Market traded sideways for the longest time. When everybody gave up, it just spiked up tremendously. Hit this ceiling, of course, right here. And then, of course, from there, effectively came down, found support down just around 1958 and is now back to trading sideways. So I think you know that I'm in no way as optimistic in terms of upside potential right now in silver, and I could be wrong, uh, that I do in gold, and I haven't seen it for a while because of the erratic way it's trading on one hand. On the second hand, the fact that it doesn't really trade out of that range, it breaks out and breaks right back in. So until we get some kind of clear-cut, defined range in there, we've got to maintain our current stop. There, there's really nowhere to move it up. There's no profits in it. It's actually below where we got into the market. Um, and so we're going to see how this market wants to trade. But right now, all I see is sideways trading activity. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We'll talk to you tomorrow for another daily update review. Bye-bye.